So we're here with the Holst Center, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Helen Cardon. I'm a business developer at Holst Center. Uh, here we are working at uh, uh, Flexible Freeform Electronics. So what are we looking at here? So here is a flexible, uh, uh, partially uh, stretchable display. And this is the front side of it, all uh, based on LED technology. We are looking at how to uh, design and uh, assemble the electronics on the on the flexible foils, and uh, also validate it into an application level. Besides uh, LED, uh, we are working on uh, OLED technology. So here is a high brightness OLED that you can see that we can go from low uh, low uh, luminance to high luminance. Furthermore, we're looking at semi-transparent OLED. Wow. So this is for, uh, what is this for? So this gives opportunity that you can integrate light on uh, transparent substrates. Uh, it can be a glass uh, in a house or in a car um, or other, other locations. You can even design it uh, to light up as a lo logo. For example, it's very thin and flexible and uh, homogeneous. So the it's very uh, the other uh, side of the LED. It's really cool. Yes. What is the whole center? What does it mean? So whole center, the name comes from Professor Host, that is a, a, a old uh, R&D um, manager at Philips uh, in beginning of the 20th century. Uh, but Host is a brand for uh, innovation uh, between two mother companies, TNO, that we are presenting here, and IMAC from the Netherlands. Uh, IMAC is very famous uh, research yes. institute, right? C indeed, and TNO as well. So IMAC is focusing on uh, uh, developing algorithms uh, uh, and electronics, and TNO is a multidisciplinary uh, research institute we have our colleagues on 3d printing but at uh, our uh, team we are focusing on freeform electronics so let's what look, you see. look at more what is yes. this one um, before going to this I would yeah. like to mention that we are looking at fr uh, uh, freeform electronics so electronics that can be printed on a stretchable substrate so we're looking at characterization of ink uh, substrate and integrating a, a silicon-based component on, on the stretchable. Okay. Also, skin-like, uh, uh, very thin foils, for example, for medical applications. Furthermore, we're looking at integrating those on a hard sur surfaces. So this is an example of an, a very interesting topic, is structural electronics or in-mode electronics. Here you can uh, integrate lights and uh, sensors, for example, touch sensors, on a um, hard substrate. So all the electronics are fully integrated. All right. Um, here we can see in a slider. How do you integrate it like that? These are uh, integrated based on thermoforming technologies. So you print and then uh, form the electronics into a uh, shape that you want. Is this partnership with uh, Dupont or no? It's just so Dupont is one of our partners in that application. Yes. So uh, IMAC is is like thousands of researchers, right? It's mm -hmm. very big. And is uh, Europe European or yes. worldwide? So it's. Um, uh, I would like to mention again. IMAC is part of Whole Center. So um, TNO and IMAC has uh, established Whole Center. So at the TNO, we also have um, uh, around 3,000 researchers working on different topics. And all this is getting commercialized. When can I buy a? This is a flexible OLED. No, this is a flexible OLED display. Display? Yes, so it's a rollable, uh, foldable display that, for example, you can see in your mobile phones these days. So when can I have a smart smartphone with this? Uh, what is required now, before you can mass produce? And uh, commercialize and make a lot of money or yes. for the whole so, center. So we're working with partners in the industry. We don't produce it ourselves or manufacture it uh, on a high volume, uh, rather on a prototyping level. But we have partners in our uh, uh, network, that ecosystem, that they are uh, looking at mass manufacturing this uh, sort of technologies. Nice. More, yeah. of, more of that than yeah. we are um, looking at um, printed sensors. That is a very yeah. interesting topic because the more you can print, the more flexible becomes your systems. One of the uh, printed sensors that we, uh, I would like to yeah. introduce is um, uh, the hospice uh, technology. Okay. So we have developed ECG sensors that can be, um, uh, the patch can be worn on body for up to seven days. It's very flexible, formable. It doesn't uh, 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 produce any screen irritations because we look at biocompatibility of uh, products. 
It uh, acquires um, medical grade data for about uh, breathing rate, heart rate, and movement, and uh, for example, could be used for monitor, uh, patient monitoring. Besides ECG, we're looking at other uh, sorts of sensor. What do you have connected in here? Yes. So these are our printed pressure sensors and temperature sensors. This is an example of it. So we can print elect uh, sensors in a very free form, uh, form, and, and they are stretchable, formable, and very accurate. This one is pressure or no? Yes, but. Um, so the black uh, dots are the sensitive materials that react to pressure, or we have another uh, sort of temperature sensors. Is it connected now? Yes, I will show you. So for example, this is a one node temperature sensor that reacts to the uh, temperature. The, the temperature sensor is very unique recipe. It becomes very uh, um, uh, sensitive to the temperature differences. I show here um, our temperature sensor but I have a very cold hand so you might not see it very well but it reacts right away to my palm I can you see my finger forms here so it's very sensitive the other technology we have is a pressure sensor so if I put my hands you can right away see so we can use these uh, pressure sensors, for example, in a, uh, on, on top of mattresses for patient sleep monitoring or other applications, shoe inlay, and in, in for movement, uh, posture management uh, type of applications. And we need to see all your sensors in close, right? Yes. So what is happening with this shirt here? ECG uh, uh, monitoring shirts. So the electrodes are printed on top of the uh, substrate and laminated on textile. So you cannot feel it. It's very stretchable, soft, and washable. And you don't need to have a, a very tight skin contact to measure uh, all the uh, biometrics. Yes. That's awesome, right? Why, why don't we? Uh, why isn't there like uh, mass production of this yet? How long it takes? Uh, depends on if a company would like to invest uh, in further developing this uh, mass manufacturable uh, product. And then you just uh, there's a procedure to take this research kind of stuff yes. into mass production. There's a procedure. There's a well, uh, the technology is mature enough for being produced in a high volume. We have in our ecosystem uh, companies that can manufacture these uh, units. Um, so it's really, it comes to the end user who have the creative idea to bring it to, to the market. 